Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy the funny scenery. Anyway, my name is Owen Fox and I work as a holistic um, life coach of body, mind and spirit. I delve into stuff like spiritual teachings and like laws and rules of the universe. And in this video I want to say something that's like extremely close to my heart. And that is deeply rooted, grounded spirituality. Not wishy-washy, airy-fairy, being a complete not a walkover living a deeply unbalanced life in your upper chakras but not being grounded and rooted in your fire chakras your red orange yellow your power chakras your sense of individuality power strength and uh, physicality energy the world living in the world uh, applying and living spiritually but in the physical world and um, i'm inspired to make this video today because i I just heard a story of a spiritual teacher um, being attacked by another sort of so-called, or at least maybe not attacked, but like saying certain things that are not so pleasant being said by the, by one t teacher, a YouTuber, and and then the other one necessarily isn't really addressing or uh, the issues necessarily. And I I heard one person who actually is another YouTuber himself say maybe this person is trying to be above what the other person is saying by not addressing the issues but I don't think that's being above anything I think it's just like sort of in a way it's basically just being weak in a, in a way like in my opinion I think it's more like being weak not being empowered because like I work with a lot of people and I can see what's happening in the world and a lot of women especially and even men like they're being, they're people's ple people pleasers. They're they're walkover. They're too soft. They're too weak and meek. And it's what I want to share with you in this video is to be strong, powerful, individual, to, to feel confident, to have a sense of your own right sense of self, and comfort in your own skin, and to know what you're entitled to, which is your own your own rights to be an individual and to like what you like, to don't like what you don't like to don't like certain people or their energy and to like other people and to have the right to say no and um, boundary issues hugely and to be able to speak up for yourself and to speak up against what you hate or dislike to not to be afraid to say you hate something because loads of spiritual people think oh that's resistance but it's not resistance it's honesty and truth so I'm a spokesperson for truth and my favorite quotation is the truth shall set you free and like for example some people I see the people pleasing aspect coming in on Facebook like people are asking you questions about yourself or like do you want to meet up or like what are you doing like where are you like and um, what's your plans or like and then some people feel obliged or obligated to actually reply and give their time and energy to this person who's trying to almost intrude or asking too many questions or even if they're not asking too many questions if you don't have to answer if someone if you don't feel like it you don't have to be a friend to somebody if you don't want to be. I see this whole people pleasing thing all the time. It's, it's extremely prevalent in women, especially in today's society. So like what I want people is to have like boundaries. Like until here and not any further. Do this like twice, once or tw like once or twice in the mornings and once or twice in the evenings. Until here and not any further. Like get a self so a sense of sovereignty, individuality. Uh, and look after yourself with self-love and don't be afraid like the whole people pleasing thing is a is fear based um, and it's conditioning based thinking you have to do something a false belief I have to do this I have to I, I can't do this like it's bad or wrong to speak my mind to, to say piss off you know like get out of my face or at least a much nicer way if you feel like being nice if it's not like too of a, too much of a serious situation I I need to do other things with my time right now or I don't feel like talking with you you know so one of the, my biggest um, teachings or lessons and to share with others at the moment is to get extremely used to don't give a shit about not being liked or approved don't be trying to make friends and don't be afraid to lose friends let go of the fear of being disapproved of or not liked or frowned upon and don't let people like butt in to your life and interfere with you. If they do, give them, if you want to, give them one chance. <laughs> Maybe two if you're really generous. But if people keep like committing crimes against you, then ditch them. Especially if you're in a bad relationship with someone like continuously disrespecting you, treating you badly, sharing negative energy with you, disrespectful, 
treating him not nicely or even abusively. Like, get out of that relationship. Or if they're friends, they're not friends, then ditch them. Like, command respect. Stand up straight and tall. Walk confidently. Don't be a little baby or like afraid, living in fear. Like Osho says, the, the biggest fear in the world is the fear of other people's opinions. And the moment we let go of this fear, we, a big roar comes up in our heart and we become like a lion. Like I totally know this. I've done this. I feel this way. I resonate. This is my, my happiest, best, favorite message at the moment. Be strong, ground your spirituality. It's all about balance. I have a Facebook friend, a friend who's written a book about balance. I'm sure it's great, I haven't read it, but I'd even recommend it because I believe in this man is partially or fully kind of channeled or at least in the flow. I heard really good testimonials about it by a man called Deshaun Fox. So check that out if you want. Balance is the key to life, include your chakras. We have seven major chakras. We don't want to be just living purely in the world, all about me, myself, things, sex, money, me, 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 pleasure, like being immature and not having a sense of an open heart or a sense of like, you know, more subtle energy, like love, compassion, feelings, uh, caring, like unity, um, truth, honesty, integrity, etc. You want to combine everything. You don't want to be a really poor, weak, spiritual person who's like, you know, no sense of strength or individuality. So you want to combine everything. Then you become great. You want to be able to manifest. That's why like, your lower chakras are also about manifestation. So like, this is the, the richness of life, to be able to ground your spirituality, blossom spiritually, but also ground, blossom to other chakras as well, you know, so... Be physically healthy, strong, able, clean, pure. Purify your energy and remove the blocks energetically. But also like purify, cleanse, remove the blocks physically. Your lymph system, your blood system, your lymphatic system, you know. Like get rid of the toxins, stop poisoning yourself with like ridiculous shitty food. It's like people addicts, they like get withdrawal symptoms when they don't get their, their fix of food. So, but like that's like another topic, but it's the same topic like balance, integration. Don't be hiding or denying stuff, either physically or spiritually, like subtly or grossly, heavy, dense, or like um, light, like energy and stuff. So do a full package and get the full richness of life. I've experienced this myself, you know, so. Anyway, so I hope this video helps and I just want to encourage you to be able to speak your mind and develop your communicational throat chakra also. Like, don't be afraid to say no and put up boundaries or to let go. It's all about letting go and being, learning and growing and expanding as you also let go. So, as I say, letting go creates a space, a vacuum for new energy and expansion and blossoming and growth to appear. Nature is balanced. It doesn't force, nor does it like hang on. So we can, we can learn from nature and also learning from nat natural animals and plants to eat fresh food and to eat a diet specific to them. Humans, in my opinion, definitely the most optimal food is fruits and green vegetables and raw food, for sure. Like, every other animal eats, like, raw foods. But there's so many spiritual people and teachers even out there who just let go. They're just like, they want their, their food to be so tasty and unnaturally concentrated. Every animal that doesn't eat concentrated food is water-rich and generally has fiber, unless you're a carnivore. Or, like, like yeah, you'll notice the difference if you... Get, tune into the power of raw and living foods and there's many teachers out there who are spiritual teachers like they know and they're able to do like a lot of breatharianism and they're living off subtle energy instead of heavy dense energy and they also know about the power of like urine therapy it's holy water the, the media completely lied about like urine it's not a big dirty nasty bad waste product it's a the kidneys do filter and um, some lymphatic waste out it's it's not just one thing, every organ does loads of things, but the kidneys do make holy, pure orin, aura, holy medicinal water, anti-cancerous, anti germous natural vaccine has antibodies, you know, you, I've heard it's like so many stories, you get bitten by a rattlesnake, within 30 seconds your pee is making antibodies, your body is, and you can drink that and you don't have to go to the hospital because you've natural vaccine. And um, 
it's deeply nourishing, deeply cleansing and nourishing. There's so many testimonials. I know people personally have tuned them into the power of Orin and it's like changed their life. People getting rid of all their perimenopause symptoms. People eliminating like old waste. It's helped enrich me more than words can say. It's got like, it's highly intelligent liquid. That's why they tried it today. It was like bad for you. So, so yeah, I know, I know I slightly got off topic, but that's just the role of life. They're rolling with it. I deeply wish that this video has helped you um, to become more empowered and clear. It's not to be afraid what, to say what you hate or dislike in the world, but don't dwell there and become all disempowered by being all pessimistic either. But just be able to speak your mind free-flowingly and express your anger and express your emotions like I do that. Just don't do it in a really destructive, painful, harmful way. But yeah, be comfortable with expressing your emotions. Happiness as easy as anger. Anger is e and frustration and displeasement is easy as happiness and delightfulness. Get comfortable with all of your emotions. That's holistic, honest, integral living. That's honesty. The universe is honest. There's no lies or deceitful in the stars and the cosmos or nature. So, learn from nature and animals and uh, open up. Okay everybody so have a lovely day and i hope you enjoyed this video and i uh, feel welcome to share it of course spread the word to my channel my, enjoy my videos check out my channel wall different playlists there um, you can favorite the video like it share it on social media watch with your family practice the video <laughs> the content and you'll be so much happier in life and uh, i hope it really helps so. we're all souls on a journey learning different things at different times okay take care and um, friend me on facebook if you want and check out my coaching below if you're interested in one-to-one -one. do a really good value to be honest other people charge way more and also i have a higher self herbs shop for body mind spirit herbs superfoods and enzymes and artisan one 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 off like handmade products that i even make myself and others that i collaborate with I make a wild green superfood blend. It's like super good. <laughs> Check it out. Lots of nice things. And uh, I do good deals and offers for subscribers and other people. Okay, take care. Have a lovely day. God bless. Many bright, beautiful blessings. Peace, love, abundance and prosperity.